the expanse <laughs> we are here brothers and sisters to watch some more expanse <laughs> yes sir <laughs> tell your brother if you hear me <laughs> anyways guys it has been wonderful to watch this show can't wait to jump into some more we're three episodes into season two and it has been a pleasure to sit down and watch the show because it is so 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 good and it's getting even better as we go along now we have a long way to go before we finish this series so don't forget to hit the like button man let's get those comments up anyways guys let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review Data core and locks were purged. We pulled whatever we could out of the flight operation system. But get this, the ship has one of the fusion drives that were stolen from the Bush shipyards. We'll maintain position with the wreck. When Fred Johnson gave you those coordinates, were you expecting to find this? I don't know what I was expecting. He could be playing you. Then at least we know he's willing to play. DNA profiled from those stiffs on the stealth. Their official records show all of them were last employed by Protogen Corporation. And their history is pretty much stopped. Protogen, or the subsidiary of Mal Kukowski, or so are half the companies in the system. That's it. Fred wants me to connect Protogen to the stealth ships. Do you really think he's in bed with Aaron Wright? Phoebe Station. Protogen ran a research base on Phoebe. Tell the villa to push that wreck into the nearest UN and petrol route. Do you want it to be discovered? Yes, then it won't be a secret anymore. Cool. What's so urgent? What the hell is he doing here? I know you two have your differences, but I don't care. Going back to Eros, I need your help. We're done going anywhere with you. I don't expect you to understand what I did to Dresden. Actually, I understand you built the bullshit just fine. Good. Then you know we need to do something about this rock. Yeah, I did. I killed a mad scientist. And now we need to kill his science experiment. And how do you suppose we do that? The Inners have been redeploying ships all over the system since Earth blew up Deimos. And it's only a matter of time before someone lands on it and takes a sample or gets infected. Miller's leading the demolition team to plant explosives around the docks. Even if you mine the docks, if someone wants him badly enough, they'll find a way. That's why we're going to use that. Knock arrows right into the sun. Did you just say you were going to use the Nauvoo as a battering ram? Well put. What do the Mormons have to say about this plan? We're commandeering this ship. Well, I guess we could just broadcast everything we know. Wait for Earth, Mars, and the OPA to all rally together and start singing Kumbaya. Do the right thing. Just... Look, we're gonna... We're gonna launch the Navu from here, okay? We're gonna shoot her like a bullet toward Eros. So when she hits, Eros is on her merry way. We're gonna detonate the bombs after impact. Controlled explosion that just destroys the dogs and cooks the surface. There's got to be a better way. Screw it. Why don't we just pack every bomb we have onto the surface and detonate them all at once? You turn one big infected rock into a million tiny ones, and if one of them rocks falls down in gravity... Cortazar said the proto-molecule was building something inside arrows. What if it's a weapon? You need a gun. That thing is alive. Okay? Bombs, it's talking. It's cover in case we run into any hostiles. We need the Rossi. And her crew. This is gonna destroy you. Along with everything you've tried to build here. Somebody's gotta act. It's the right thing to do. Stars are better off without us. It's crazy. Right. The Mormons are gonna be pissed. We just gonna commandeer. Man, they were they were looking forward to such a great future. Been conclusively linked to Protogen Corporation. Damn. <laughs> I believe in always clearing up misunderstandings eye to eye. So you had no knowledge of the money being funneled from Protogen to build a fleet of secret stealth ships? Of course not, Ma Mao Krakowski has hundreds of satellite companies under its umbrella. We all know that Fred Johnson still has ties to Earth, but you need to explain to us how the OPA could infiltrate your company. 
So naturally, we're going to be a target for corporate espionage and political radicals. So you believe the stealth ships are the work of OPA moles? That's the theory that our security team is operating under. Whom you hired and whether through your security screenings. Day-to-day -day operations are handled by Protogen executives with full autonomy. My team would only be notified if the company exceeded its budget allotment. So these rogue employees managed to make a profit and a war without even going over budget? Maybe we should get these people on our payroll. Protogen is a biotech research company, and it had a government contract on previous station. I'm sorry, Christian. How is this relevant to the stealth ships? The Martians seemed very intent on destroying Phoebe before the Nathan Hale could secure it. I just wanted to know what Protogen was working on there. I'll check into that for you. But if this was a government contract, I'm sure that you would have full access to those same records. And here yeah. I thought you came in to clear up any misunderstandings. Ooh. We're being polite, Monsieur Mao. But the Deputy Secretary and I are trying to stop a war. Is he now? <laughs> ships. And the people of Earth will hold you personally responsible. I'm sure Monsieur Mao will personally see that Protogen helps the UN investigation with complete transparency before any more tragedy occurs. Isn't that right? Of course, Deputy Secretary. I only want what's in the best interest of the system. <laughs> He's like, I know you two bitches are working together. <laughs> Now, I hope you're not coming for your pound of flesh because I don't know if I got that much to spare. Why are you doing this? I don't know, I've never done a spacewalk before and the kid here says it's better than sex. You're doing this for Julie, but you know that destroying arrows won't rid us of all the proton molecule. You know what we hid out there. Did you tell Fred? Nope. Uh, this mission, this is on me. But a uh, nice sample, that's on you. You do the right thing with it. Good luck copying me. Yeah, I was a thought. Mark. It's amazing what special effects can do. <clears throat> amazing. What if this doesn't work? That's the question that I'm asking. And the idea, the amount of money they spent to just get this whole thing prepared. Good luck and Godspeed. Sorry you had to go through that, but we needed to get out in front of this. You said you had Avasarala on a leash. She's already connected us to Phoebe Station. It's wild speculation and zero evidence. She's posturing. Jesus, you don't even realize it. She knows we're working together. Bullshit. But she's still chasing shadows, so let's not lose our heads here. Of course you can't see it. Your top dog in a bureaucracy filled with idiots has compromised this project. Force me to explore other options. That sounds like a threat. Ooh, no answer back. Believe me. Do you I know? With resources and my protection. Understands the historic importance of what's happening and can adjust his worldview accordingly. Just trying to save you a job. So Damn. I'll let you get back to it. Damn. He's like you don't even see it. From us, we are the only ones in the general vicinity, and a couple of UN and Martian ships out of the Jupiter fleets are changing course, calculating, They're heading our way. No way we can hide this much activity forever. It doesn't matter. By the time they get here, it'll be too late. All right, let's do this. Amos, drop the ordnance. Roger that. Bombs away. Always wanted to say that. Okay, Amos. <laughs> it's like recovering up a crime. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Guy Molinari, ordnance is in position on the catwalks and tracking beacons are on. You're clear to start your run. Demolition teams, stand by to deploy. Wanna stay here? Keep my seat warm? Fuck off, kid. <laughs> you got this, space man. You must finish placing the bombs at the precise locations around Eros docks and be out before the Nabu hits. This is not gonna go the way y'all think it's gonna go, cause something is alive. This, this thing. 
Swing by the docks. I want to make sure. I don't think this thing is going to allow you guys to blow up this place, bro. Why is this phrase coming into my head right now? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Coming in hot, bro. Oh no. That's bad. You goddamn right, it's bad. Relax, Bumper. Go rock hopper always bring us back. Spacewalk, pretty awesome, yeah? Say you ain't never been late, kid. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Be my first. <laughs> Jeez, man. Can't imagine just. Imagine being just. In space, just in that vast nothingness. It's crazy, man. The station's mainframe is offline, but the emergency lockdown systems are still active. All the hatches are sealed. Good. It's like we left it. There might not be anything out here, but there is definitely something in there. Sure as heck I'm not eager to find out what that is, partner. Then let's finish up and get out of here. Yeah. It's the same thing they heard. The voice is on arrows. Getting faster. That thing ain't dead, man. Something to laugh out there. How the hell you call yourself, Belta Copan? It's lucky, I guess. That wasn't my idea to be born on series. And why you out here rock hopping? I'm my way home, lady. Come on, we gotta move. We got these. Alex, hold on. A hot spot on the surface. Copy that. Hold in position. A hot spot on the surface? It's a ship. A ship? Looks like we got some tourists. It's probably pirates. I'm gonna fire up a drone, get some eyes down there, see what's what. Guy Molinari, we've discovered an unknown ship tethered to the station and are investigating. Tell your demolition teams to be on the lookout for possible hostiles. Erasmus. Checking the registry. It's a rental. It's hired at a palace station. Wow, that is the nicest gas ship I have ever seen. That's just odd. Y'all ever seen pirates with state-of-the-art life support systems? In a med bay? What are these <laughs> guys? Whoa, what the... Hey! The not responding. Target locked the ship. Done. Can't let it go anywhere. We can't just shoot it. Nobody's shooting anybody. We're being held. Please, don't fire on us. We're here on a peaceful mission. I, I overreacted. We don't want any trouble with Muff. We know a Muffin forget when we see one. This area is under strict quarantine. Who are you and what are you doing here? On a humanitarian mission to give aid to the survivors of Eros. That may be the case, but you've broken numerous Martian laws by coming Our here. Our only interest is in helping the victims. We might be able to find an airlock since the boat is offline, but the whole station is locked down. The station is locked down for everyone's safety. And so 100,000 people down there have been condemned. It's a terrible situation. But we all have our orders. Do not attempt to move your ship and prepare to be boarded. What the hell are you doing? Are we taking prisoners now? We don't have time to board their ship for a chinwag. I know, but they think we're Martian Navy. They'll leave without trying to turn us into some political crusade. What else can we do? We're not telling them the truth. And if they stay, they die. These people don't deserve that. They didn't get inside. Lucky for everyone. The sooner they're out of here, the better. Yeah, I need to get a move on. I still got two bombs left. We won't be late. Yodas is slowing us down. Hey, quick enough to catch your scrawny ass on series. <laughs> Wanna be freedom fighter? Ain't chasing the script. I'm OPA now. I fight for the call. Yeah, I got news for you, pal. You OPA? You got more gangsters than series. 
It's part of their brainwash. The hell you know about anything, Star Helix Batch? You well, Walla? All right, kid. Just go in with your eyes open, huh? You live long enough. They'll figure it out. So, why I take advice from a loser like you? That's just it. Good. You a real asshole, Miller. So what you gonna do when we finish this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, go back to series. Start selling black market water. Maybe there's an opening. Come on. Uh, funny guy. <laughs> well, I think they've had plenty of time to properly shit themselves. Alex, kill the target lock. Copy that. What if they won't leave? They'll leave. Erasmus, you're to leave the area immediately. Do not change course until you're out of the quarantine zone. If you do not comply, you will be fired upon. We'll get underway as soon as possible. Find the gap. It's just gonna be that easy? I don't think so. Hey, keep going. I'll catch up with you. Hey, you got the job. You do what I said. Mmm. That gun looks so good. I like how it looks. <laughs> that revolver. Futuristic. Or maybe it's old school. Who knows? Hmm? Did they get in and they were lying? Listen, I tell you, we got a body in an airlock down here. What airlock? They lied. Airlock's definitely been hacked. <laughs> Jesus. This guy, he's got proto molecule all over him. Looks like he's been inside. Is there a ship name on his back suit? Erasmus. Erasmus. They just lit up their drive. They're pushing off. Jim, there comes again on my tight beam. We're complying with your order. You lied to me, Doctor. You hacked into Eros. We found your dead colleague in the airlock. I told Doctor Ken not to touch it, but he never listened. He tried to get the sample, but it attacked him. Almost like it felt threatened. Like it. it was everywhere. They're trying to use the asteroid to block our jamming. All of you might be infected. We have to be sure. The truth to this Listen system. to me, Doctor. You have no idea what you're dealing with here. It's not a disease. It's obviously some kind of weapon. They've been using these peppers as guinea pigs. If any one of you are infected, you could wipe out millions. Burn your ship around. I promise you will not be harmed. We won't let you silence us to protect your experiment. If people will come here to investigate, we won't be able to contain it. This is not our experiment. We're not a military unit. My name is James Holden. I am not your enemy. If they get the asteroid between our ships, we'll lose our jamming signal, and they will be able to broadcast everything they saw inside Eros. Alex got a missile lock. Are you serious? Just do it! You gotta listen. Damn, bro. I'm trying to save your life. I swear to you, we want the same thing. Please, don't make me kill you. If we truly want the same things, then you know what you need to do. Damn. Bombs away. That's crazy. Gotta take them out. 10 seconds. Skadoosh. Hard decisions. That's crazy. God damn it! The Miller, hell is that? You've got high speed debris incoming. Get to cover immediately. Miller, what the hell are you? Take cover! Get out! Oh yeah, let's hide behind the explosive. Yeah, let, let's do that. <laughs> it seems. Very smart. <laughs> Are you okay? Stay off this channel. Yo go. I I got a puncture. I need a hand. Just punch. Just. Damn. The kid okay? Thanks for all your help, kid. I don't think he's okay. Big problem, Pumper. 
detonator safety got fry. So now he's holding it manually. Can you turn it up. No. Control panel go. 60 second reset. Best we can do. God damn it. Damn. This thing blows. Set of all the other bombs. Well, the nav will get here. Screw up the trajectory. This whole thing will be for nothing. So, we dead. We. Back to the ship. About to go for change my mind and hand this thing back to you. Another person sacrificing themselves for him again. Hey, kid. Don't get late, will ya? <laughs> There's no way this is the end of Star Helix here. There's no way. Rosinante. Demolition teams are back on board. Guy Molinari is underway, making to clear the blast zone. Miller, answer me. Are you all right? You know, I have never been better. Thought we lost you there. Break out the drinks. You earned it. Uh -huh. That sounded awesome. Oh, I really wish I could, but uh, I'm still on arrows. Yeah, that debris for you. Messed up my last bomb. Timer kicked in. I'm gonna keep a finger on a switch, keep it from going off, so make sure we didn't come out as waving us. Give me the bomb's transponder code. I'll override it from here. Nah, that won't do any good. I'd never make it out of here in time. Then we're coming to get you. Be an idiot. Get out of here. It's you and me now. Miller. Miller, come in. Miller! Miller! There's no way this is the last we see of him, though. He's dead. Somehow I feel like he's gonna survive. Ain't that fitting. Just happened, the Navu just missed. Yeah, how the hell did it change course? What the fuck? The Navu didn't move. The Arabs did. They moved it out of the way. Yo, I knew this shit was not gonna go as planned. I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna go as planned, man. Oh my god, that's crazy. They moved it out of the way, man. That's why I'm like, I'm looking at this show, right? From the perspective of how are you guys not going to acknowledge that this is a, a, a living, it, it's a, a, maybe not a living being, it's not human, but this thing is alive. And as long as it has energy, feeding it you don't know what to expect i get it they're going to try to get rid of get rid of them but this thing is alive man i don't know they moved it how i don't know because and it looks like they moved it just in time before the Navu hit it too. So uh, you hear the, the correspondence became louder and louder. They can't really understand what they're saying. Because I can't really make out what they're saying as well. It's like a bunch of people talking all at once. You can't really make out what an individual is saying. But you can hear that there's communicating going on. Right? It's kind of like, you know, if you're in a room full of people at a party everybody's kind of con conversing you can't really focus on any one conversation if everybody's kind of like talking at the same volume right so that's what it sounds like to me um and this thing is a problem it's a problem that they're gonna have to figure out a way to deal with Was, is it the right thing i mean literally you just kill those people for nothing now well you know you they're kind of like yeah, we don't want it broadcast to the world. We don't want it broadcast everywhere. 
because that's going to create more problems because they're trying to kind of operate in the dark right now not really trying to put anybody else in danger they're not necessarily protecting anybody either it's just more of like there's more to this and they're trying to figure it out and there's a bigger threat that they need to deal with now how do you come back from this now like how now that they know that you guys are there do they have their own thing that they can try to attack them with it's like there's so much to consider right now that they're going to have to deal with the whole situation that's going on on earth you know was a good test that she you know it's a good test that she put 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 out there um it's a good test that she put out there to figure out if mao and the um deputy secretary is deputy secretary deputy whatever that <laughs> right um to find out if they were working together um mao notices it but the, the other dude is, is like man i know her she doesn't know anything she's just kind of you know pulling at straws right now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's it's kind of weird that dynamic but i'm glad that she's trying to figure out what's going on as well and she's getting some help from fred johnson and stuff like that so um and they're working together so we'll see how that develops anyways guys just something i said maybe now is a good time to get off this rock miller you're moving i mean eros is moving fast eros the whole damn asteroid is moving under its own power it's not exactly possible yet that's what we've got unknown but it's deorbiting sunward do we know why we do not fred johnson claimed it was an engine test but given the nabu's speed and trajectory it was on a collision course with Eros, which he's lying to us. Madam, the Mormon leadership in Salt Lake is claiming Johnson stole the Nabu. Tell me, Colonel Dynas, how does a big rock like Eros suddenly turn into a ship? Madam, I don't know. If Eros stopped rotating that quick, I'd be dead as a bug on a windshield. Oh, we broke a few laws of physics here. Maybe God's trying to play a magic trick. Its temperature's gone up two degrees, yes. around 10 exajoules. Yeah. That's the energy of a two <laughs> ton bomb. You couldn't move Eros like that with a two gigaton blast. I think we're looking at the waste heat, which means the laws of thermodynamics still hold it. Now, if Eros isn't spinning anymore, how can I still have gravity? Well, Dresden said the proto molecule would break all the rules. So, who the heck are we to say what it's capable of? Oh, shit. Alex? It's that damn rock. It's in a heck of a hurry to get somewhere. I don't feel any acceleration, but man, it sure looks like I'm leaving the gate. Dust. Hang tight there, amigo. We are tracking you. Okay, so, I guess that uh, rescue plan's put on hold. No, oh, thank good. Because for a sec there, I thought maybe we lost control of the situation. <laughs> we have to embrace the obvious conclusion that Eros is some kind of weapon system, unlike anything we've seen. Harry thinks everything is an AI. I assume built by Mars. Who else? They provoke a conventional war as a smoke screen, then hurl this thing at us. Anything from Mars? Nothing but denials and confusion. Eros has changed trajectory again, and it's accelerating. Bruh, where's it going? It's now on a direct collision course with Earth. Oh shit! Proto molecule is like, yo, we coming. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared, cause we out here in these streets, <laughs> in these spaces. <laughs> it's insane, bruh. Bombs on the surface. Still working on yours, Miller. My bomb has to be special. Jules Pierre Mao. Looks like your attempts to keep Eros under the radar. Set a few snags. You call yourself a man of the system, but I'm not. Earth is my home. I'd really appreciate it if you make a fucking appearance and rein in your goddamn science experiment. Still not responding. Hang in there. That massive heat spike before Eros moved? What if that's the sea crystal that creepy guy was talking about? I have a terrible idea. If Miller can get in there close with that warhead, he could kill it. Stop Eros in its tracks. Only something worse. Eros just dodged the Naboo with the shrug. What's it gonna do when he crawls inside there with a the nuke? There's only one way to find out. What do you think, Miller? I think it's the best bad idea I've heard all day. 
We need to figure out that dead man switch. Create a longer delay so that we can get you out of there before the bomb detonates. I'm on it. I'm gonna take my pet nuke for a walk. A rock three times the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But given Eros' erratic speed and acceleration, we really don't know where it's gonna hit. Latest projection, seven to 10 billion dead. Another 10 in the aftermath of environmental disaster. We have to begin evacuation. Use every available ship and transport. We'll need a lottery system and to control public hysteria. A massive missile launch at Eros. The odds are good that we destroy it. It's a million pebbles. Whatever biotoxin is inside Eros, can it survive in a vacuum or do we risk scattering it all over the system? Sadly, there's no time to conduct a study to satisfy your curiosity. We'll sterilize the detonation zone with a second wave of missiles. Ready the arsenal. And get the secretary aligned to the Martian prime minister. We don't want them mistaking our missiles for a first strike. Let's hope they're feeling warm and fuzzy today. We're almost to the airlock. We count on this damn bomb loving gravity so much. <laughs> Alien life in the universe. And I'm riding it like a tick on a dog. Hey, don't get all holding on me. Weird and chatty under pressure. It must be real tough going up under a blue sky. Eight parents slobbering all over you. Hey now, wait till you get to know him better. Uh, yeah, so does the rock tunnel. What are the chances of getting him out of there once he plants that nuke? I help him rig a timer to get around that dead man's switch. He backtracks to the docks. We swoop in and get him. Like... Hey, easy there, Chief. You do realize that docking with Eros ain't gonna be a cakewalk, right? That station so much as twitches while we're swooping in, they're gonna be sending what's left of us home in a doggy bag. He's risking the <laughs> down there. How about we do the same up here? <laughs> you know, this guy's friends are probably infected. They would have spread it if you let him get away. That was the right call. What makes you think it's not gonna do the same thing to you the second you walk in there? <laughs> Me. I missed you too. In all your years, did you imagine you'd see a moment like this? Martian Prime Minister confirmed they won't consider our launch a preemptive strike, nor did they offer assistance. Maybe they want to see how well their weapon performs. Or to watch how ours fails. Silos are open. Can you can you imagine like they're having this and they still like so suspicious of Mars. Like, wow, man. No matter the era. It's surprising to me how they don't realize that this is heading to Earth. And damn, you better. That better not fall, bruh. You need to hurry up and reset that thing. Hey, yo. Oh, nice. A cart. Convenient. What was that? Naomi, I didn't catch, I didn't catch you. Miller, I didn't say anything. Bruh. Guess it must be going the right way. Service exit. To your left. After this, who was that? I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. I'm watching you. You're doing great. Yeah, that, that must be it. <laughs> They're just echoes of who those people were. Nah, bruh. Because I'm going to have to question. It's like, why am I hearing those voices? Still, they're dead. Talking about echoes. You know what? Leaving the dead alone. Ah, uh, this. Still has some use for the living. Yeah, that's the dude that they killed. Looks like I'm gonna need a minute here, guys. I don't think you guys have a minute. So it goes. We had to explain. 
disrespect the wars was the only move. How the heck are you going to do that? Like, how much time do you guys have before that's a hit? Hey! Hi. What's going on out there? Earth just launched half her nuclear arsenal, and I'm guessing they just target locked Aero Station. Sure, that's a good idea. Well, the UN didn't check with us first. But it doesn't <laughs> mean you're gonna need to pick up the pace down there. What the hell up now? Where's Eros? I can't find it. Damn, it just disappeared. Lost radar lock on Arrow. Acknowledged, Tycho. It's off our radar too, but it's still right there. It's just not reflecting radar anymore. So if Earth's missiles can't see Eros, then... Then they can't blow it up. Yeah. So they just mask themselves. Eros is moving towards Earth. On its own. What can you tell me about that? The flower is unfolding. It's becoming. How can we stop it? Dear, why would you want to stop it? Our missiles have lost their target locks. How do you lose a target the size of a goddamn moon? Eris vanished off radar. Our missiles, sir, they're flying blind, which makes them essentially useless. Incoming strong message from Fred Johnson. Fred Johnson? Does he have something to do with this? I have been monitoring this incredible situation on Eros. The OPA has a ship in visual range of Eros. But given the signal delayed to Earth, my technicians would need to steer the missiles. I understand the gravity of the request, but need a response before the window of opportunity closes. This is exactly the kind of opportunity he's been waiting for. It's just the guidance systems. We still have our abort codes. The bird dies without air anymore. Because he's got blood on his hands. He's a mad terrorist, your words. I need a moment. Can you see this OPA ship? Not in the wake of Eros. It's radar dark too. Or I could talk to the captain of this ship directly. Any message would have to be relayed through Tycho Station. That's crazy. These things are starting to take a real liking to me. We get inside this suit to I don't have to worry about Earth nukes. Happy thoughts. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Miller, your feet's crapping out again. Miller. Pete, Rossi. Repeat. The deeper you go, uh, maybe they maybe Earth is interrupting because they're trying to reach him too. Captain, in this terrible hour, I appeal to your humanity. Madam Abasarala, I'm James Holden, Captain. I've seen firsthand the hell that's going on inside Eros, and it mustn't be allowed to reach Earth. Fred Johnson is honorable. Give him access to your missiles and my crew and I will guide them in. There's no time to bargain. We can only choose to trust each other. I pray that we will. Good thing the assassins missed. Sir James Holden is neck deep in everything that's happening. He's Fred Johnson's puppet. Any other day this discussion would get us shot for treason, then thrown into a lunatic asylum. I vouch for James Holden. We can trust him. Caterpillar calls the end of the world. The master calls the butterfly. Well, decisions, decisions. Alex, how we doing on that target lock? Target is still painted, Chief. 150 live thermonuclear missiles under your control. I believe that makes you the most powerful man in the system right now. Oh, really? Then go get me a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, I love this. Eros is accelerating again. Still poor. Do not lose visual. We are already burning hot as it is. Gotta understand, you burn like that at some point. We're not gonna be around to enjoy the ride. We could probably handle that if we're juiced to the gills, but uh, eventually one of those little blood vessels in your brain's gonna go pop. Rosh will stay with you on autopilot as long as it takes. <laughs> That's the situation. So beat us to it, Miller, and we can all go home. I'll even give you a ride. No, it doesn't stop Eros. Fine. All right, you're on. Another news. I think I'm getting close to the hot zone in my homies. Excuse me? Seed crystal. <laughs> <laughs> that hot <laughs> zone. <laughs> you. The tension during these scenes. Captain? It's 
strap in, press max speed. You got it. All clear! Clear. Here comes the juice. It's like, how dare you assume my gender? <laughs> Incoming from the Rosinante. 13 minute transmission delay. The ship is ramping to a 15G burn to match speed with the target. Survivability of the crew is questionable beyond this point. They're going to stay with Eris, even if it kills them. Y'all should send rescue. Your evac shuttle is ready. There's nothing left to do here. The Secretary General and most of the others are already gone. One more minute. I do. How are you holding up? Acid stomach. And I'm surprised that he actually wants it. Steak. Arjun, I need to stay here. I can't let... Yes, I expected you to say that. L wait, listen to... Wait, me first. Please. All right. And let me finish. I've been rehearsing this moment for years, but now that it's here, I'm lost. I smiled and grinned when you took that trip to the Sinai battlefront. I even oh, and yes, and that is what you. I love about you. I know it hasn't even been easy. I know that, and I'm sorry. Stop. You never have to apologize to me. Sorry. Just know I want to be there with you. But our home is threatened. And if I left, you wouldn't respect me anyway. Why did I marry such a great woman? You got very lucky. Didn't you? I didn't think Earth is going about to die. They think Earth's about to be destroyed. But I think they'll save it though. And back to the action. <laughs> Look at this, bro. What the hell? What is happening here? Is it like. Bro, General, this lost threat. So far, the station hasn't considered you a threat. Just keep it that way. When it's gone, gone, gone. Can't take the razor back. Slow down, you ornery son of a bitch. Oh, there goes my spleen. It's speeding up again. Come on, man. Naomi, can you check the med data on my suit? <sighs> You're fine. What's going on? Well, I just don't want you to think I'm hallucinating or anything. You know those voices on here? I think this thing is taking the consciousness some part of whatever it is makes us human. It's eating it. The mother configuration. No, we don't have time for this. It's leading us right back to the Blue Falcon. Where we found Julie? These voices are getting louder. The closer I get to that. Okay. I think she's still in there. Miller. Julie Mouse dead. We both saw her. Hey, I'm not talking about her body. I mean, her consciousness. consciousness. I'm talking about a part of her. This is everything happening here is all built around Julie. The first one to get infected. And it was right there at the Blue Falcon. Proto molecule infected her. What if? She infected the proto molecule back. Razorback, her old ship headed right for Earth. I keep hearing her talk about the Razorback. I, I think she's controlling this whole thing. She's the seed crystal. Stop chasing arrows! I can't do that! Tap the brakes then, asshole! This is gonna be a real short ride. God damn it. Alex, tap the brakes, but do not lose visual. Stop following arrows. It's gonna defend itself. My money ain't on you. I'll lose it for good. Forget the goddamn missiles. You'll dodge those just like she did the Nauru. Oz, I'm losing visual. Your crew is gonna die for nothing. Find a way to divert those missiles. And then what? I'll try to reach Julie. If there's any part of her still left, you can get her to stop this rock. I still got my little pal here. You're gonna negotiate with a girl who thinks she's a space station? When you put it like that, it does sound kind of crazy. It is. You don't back off. We don't even have that. This is crazy.
crazy, bruh. What the hell are you gonna do with all them missiles? Just power down. Yes, sir. So think I don't know, man. So So they are going to get the Earth. Long story, no time for details, but I'm the one with the boots on the ground. Right now it's imperative you divert Earth's missiles away from Eros. I'll await confirmation. The UN's gonna think we're stealing their missiles. Like this whole thing is a ploy. We're gonna nuke Tycho next. No way that I'm going along with this. It's already done. They've cut the speed. The Rossi's targeting laser is off. Eros is gone. So just send the missiles back peacefully? <laughs> I don't know. We've got guidance control. I'll take them on a long ride. This is crazy. What are you seeing? Kinda beautiful. Cause I owe you that drink. Uh, you owe me a bottle, pal. I appreciate you uh, inviting me and your family there, Holden. At least you thought I was worked out. Yeah, that worked out. It's time to see what's left. Hey, Mo. That's crazy, man. Well, this is interesting, <laughs> you know. I wonder what he's gonna decide to do. This is it. It, it looks like something out of a video game, don't it? Dang. Julie, you need to wake up now, kid. So essentially, she didn't die, or oh, this is. You need to come back. Is that a real body? Aero station. This is step up, actually. What happened to me? I don't like it. Hey, we never really officially met. I'm Miller. Used to be a cop on series. I'm supposed to find you, bring you home. They left me here all alone. They never came for me. This station, this rock is headed for Earth. Real fast. I dreamed that I was racing. Yeah. I was going home. Yeah, we, we're gonna need to stop that, Jules. No, you can't take the razor back. Mm, never took shit from anyone, did you? But you're driving this bus, Julie. I miss Earth. You can't go to Earth. A lot of good people are gonna die if we go there. I can't make it stop. It won't stop. Can't stop the work. All right, we don't stop the work, but uh, we don't have to go to Earth, right? Why don't we go to Venus? We're headed that way anyway. Go to Venus. Work continues. <laughs> Got a choice to make. Because I believe in you. I know you're a fighter. I know you can steer this ship. I'm done fighting. I just want to go home. Damn. She's already go dead, on. man. I'm sorry. We go anywhere else in the whole universe, but we can't go home, buddy. Nay, I need you to know whatever happens. You to hold something for me, okay? I can't feel my hands. It's all right. You ready to hold this for a minute? I don't let go. What is it? It won't hurt you. Gonna take it off? really about to kill Miller in the show, bro. Well, he can't come back from this. What happens to us now? I don't know. We die, maybe. Or if we don't die, that'll be interesting. Whatever happens, happens to both of us. Hey, he was truly obsessed with this girl. For real, for real.
truly. This was so weird. This was a weird ass love story. I did that much. Okay, so I changed course to Venus. Okay. So what does this mean going forward though? This is like... Um, I really truly just watching that episode. I don't know what to think now. Because it's like, I was saying at the end of my last review, I'm like, if you, if this threat goes, where's the threat going to come from? You get what I'm saying? It's just like, this was the big bad. This was essentially the big bad developing. And now it's being taken away by a love story pretty much because of a love story or sacrifice in the grander scheme of things right and i'm like i'm thinking about the future because there's like five seasons of this show right so where do we go from here that is my question it's like where do we go from here like where do we end up now you know where do we end up now it's kind of sad but at the same time, it's just like we knew about the, this obsession that he had. It's like, I don't want to say how this became a love story. Like, it, it's just kind of like out of the blue to me. Um, so I don't quite understand why they went that direction. I can understand that he, it was kind of like, he's never met her. So it was just kind of weird how that developed, right? Or am I wrong here? Am I wrong? Maybe you guys can explain it a little bit better for me. But I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where they're going to go with the show now because you kill the big bad. I mean, there's all there's some, of course, some underlying things that's still there that they need to deal with in the plot. But overall, I thought this was going to be the big bad of the series and we're going to have to deal with alien life form. And that seems like they, they, they kind of, I mean, there's still remnants of it out there. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen now. Um, does it make it less interesting of the show? A little bit, a little bit. But there's still a lot that they could go in, a lot of different directions that they could go with this series. Um, me personally, I didn't want to see Star Helix die. I didn't want to see, it, you know, him die in this way. I didn't expect it to happen. Even though he was kind of like chasing and there was a lot of dead flags waving all around his character all the time. But I thought he was going to be the one that um, last alongside James, you know what I'm saying, Holden. I thought that they would keep him in the series as a um, as a second main character. You know, somebody as I described them before is like J um, James is kind of like the wholesome, you know, always trying to do everything right, the right way, and all this other stuff. And then you have, um. You know, you have Star Helix as not necessarily a antagonist, but somebody that's similar to James, have the same va values, but he acts differently. Like, he's very driven by emotion, right? Very driven by how you should handle things. He's very, he's ready, he's trigger happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not, he's like, yo, you do something wrong, you dead. You put your man in danger, you're dead. I don't like you people, blah, blah, blah. I don't like these type of people. Same thing with James, but James just doesn't handle it the same way that Star Helix does. Like he's a more rational, like he thinks about both perspectives before he acts. James is just like, I don't like you. You you did this. You're a crazy person. Boom. You dead. <laughs> right? I'm not thinking about the fact that I could ask you questions to find out more about something down the line. No. You did something I don't like, you did. <laughs> right? That's his uh, motivation. So maybe they wanted to eliminate that part of the show um, to just kind of have Holden, you know, whatever, 
and this and that and that goes to show you that really and truly no character is really safe in this so you know the stakes are high um and it's proven to be uh, um going in that direction where they're letting you know it's just like yo we're not afraid to kill characters so cool i'm all in on that because circumstances happen and when you see certain characters get out of certain situations you gotta gotta be like well no that's not very grounded of you but it is what it is um yeah so overall man i'm still enjoying the expanse it's just that uh my interest dropped a little bit because i really would have liked to see they develop this whole portal molecule um you know um situation a lot better um, I, I know this is probably not the last we see of the proto molecule in, in my opinion. I don't think so. I think it's going to be more, but the build up for this man, the build up for it and everything, I just didn't expect it to end with star helix and, and Julie kissing. <laughs> it was just, it, it was a little underwhelming for me and I'm just being honest about it, right? It was a little bit underwhelming. Maybe you guys enjoyed that, but this overall the overarching bigger um story around this entire thing that just didn't feel right it doesn't feel like it fit in what i've been watching this entire time it just didn't fit but hey it is what it is that's what they chose to go with um what if this comes into play what if they don't die you get what i'm saying so there's still possibility you know as in in that moment when he's talking to her and he's like we might die we may survive who knows you know what i mean so we'll see what happens anyways guys thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all for watching this with me i appreciate y'all i've just been paying attention to what's going on that's why i'm not really talking so much in the in these last couple of episodes because because there's a lot of dialogue that's going on that i don't i don't want to miss i don't want to miss anything i want to understand exactly what's going on Yes, I mean, still missed, missed stuff, but it was a lot of action, a lot of intense moments as well that I don't think that I need to be talking through those moments. But hey, it is what it is. By the way, The Expanse became a 10 out of 10 show after these comments. <laughs> it did. I can't lie. I can't lie. It became a 10 out of 10 show for me. So even though I was saying this was a little bit underwhelming for me and where the show was going, Y'all wait. Y'all wait. Wait. It's coming. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Leave a like. Leave a comment.